Hi, now in HTML5, we are going to add another very important concept that is MathML. This MathML stands for Mathematical Markup Language, which will give you some wonderful tags and semantics for putting the mathematical notations over the browser. That means if you have something like integration symbol or maybe some matrix implementation out there, you can put them all over the web browser using this MathML. When we talk about this MathML, it will give you the content as well as the structure in which you want to implement. As it say, mentioned here, captures the structure and the content. That means, suppose you are implementing any matrix, alright, where you have some square, big square brackets putting some number inside. So basically, obviously, without HTML5, you could have placed the number, but not in that structure. Structure means that matrix uh, implementation, alright. But HTML5 gives you MathML which will using which you can put anything like matrix or integration or maybe any particular mathematical notation over the browser. So basically using MathML will give you the easiest way of putting the mathematical notation over the web site, web, world wide web that is www. You can find these implementations also in our mathematical tutorial. So if you have doubt like which kind of things it is going to put, you can refer to them. For now also, we are going to have a practical implementation where we will see how to put some matrix-like structures in the browser. So let's get started with the basic implementation of this MathML now. So in this particular example of MathML, I want to show you a matrix structure. So using the HTML5 latest semantics, I will try to make the matrix structure using the opening and the closing braces. So let's see what all I have done. So I have started the things with the math tag. You can see the complete things are enclosed inside these tags. Now after that there is a M row. In that particular row, I will be using some operators and the matrix brackets in order to form the complete layout of a matrix. So here it is MI. Whenever you want to put some integral values using some variables where you want to represent some variables, you can use MI, all right? And wherever you will be using the operator, it would be MO, all right? So now, what I'll do after that means it will get started with A is equal to. And right after that, I want to open the bracket using this one and I will close it using this one. So M fenced, you know what is fence all about? It will be fencing the complete matrix. So the opening will be this bracket and the closing will be this bracket. As you can see, there are two different attributes. Now, inside the table, when you will open it, open the table tag, it will be used. This particular bracket will be used. Now, in the first row, what I will do? I am putting a couple of things that is the X and Y. Similarly, I will add another matrix row in the same and there I will put Z and W. Alright, and as you can see, these are all the variables. So I am putting the MI tag as well. So it's like a normal table tag, table TRTD. Like in the table, there is a first row. There are two columns, the second row with two columns, but it is not the uh, classical table, but it is the matrix table. So there will be a couple of rows in the matrix. In the first row, you will get X and Y. And the second one, uh, let me change the value a bit. We'll put A and B. That will be easy to remember. All right. So X and Y in the top, A and B in the second line. So let me just save this and sh let's see how it looks in the browser. So here I'm coming to Google Chrome and I'm refreshing it and you can see that there is nothing fancy happened. It's just like A is equal to X, Y, A, B because all the browser yet doesn't support the math ML. But definitely this Google Chrome for now is not supporting it. So I'll come to the Firefox. And here when I'll refresh it, you can see the complete structure like A is equal to this bracket in the first row there is x and y in the second row there is a and b 
all right so this is how you can start working with the math ml and not only matrix some more things like integration as i said earlier can be done using this particular concept of html5 tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning